This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Drew Demery, your coach, and I wanted to give you an update um, and a tutorial on your new 2020 coaching prep form. There is some a few modifications from the previous year, so I'm just going to go over those changes just uh, quickly. All right, so first thing is this red area. So it says update this within 24 hours prior to the coaching session. Not updating this form result in the coaching standard of a rescheduled 101. So make sure that you're filling this out every time before you meet with your coach. This just allows us to serve you better. It does have in bold though, create a new tab for each new month, which is something that is new. The method to this is that we're gonna be able to use these every month and see your progression in the program. So how you do that is, let me show you, in January coaching pre-session form, you'll see a down arrow at the bottom left. You'll click on that and then you'll hit duplicate. And then you'll see copy of. So then at this point, let's just assume we are going to be in February and then you'll have that. So if you are meeting with your coach and you're in between months, so if this is the last day of January and we're heading into February, just make sure you copy the new tab. And so we're working off the current tab for that month. And then the great thing again is we'll be able to reflect back on the previous months and your progress. The second thing that I wanna go over is this new My 15th Protocol Commitment section. So 15th protocol is just like halfway through. It's kind of like a football game halftime. Are you on track to hit one of these four goals? Appointments gone on, listing signed, written, which is under contract terminology, and four, four would be closed units. If you're not, there are two activities that we want to increase. These are predetermined so that when I contact you or when one of your coaches contacts you on the 15th of the month, do we need to enact this? So, for example, if you were scheduled to do two open houses a month, you may opt to do one additional one, so you'll do three. You may also possibly do complete a bold 100 this month. So this is completely blank and you'll be able to type what you prefer yours to be. So you are choosing the 15th protocol. So when I log into this and I'm calling you, texting or emailing you on the 15th of the month, I'm gonna see what you're deciding on what you're gonna turn the heat up on to be able to really build some more momentum in the, in the month. Of course, name is self-explanatory. Date of the session, make sure you're dating this correctly so we can kind of make sure that this is the current prep form. Uh, obviously the goals for the month. And then I'd like for you to make sure you put the name of your mentorship group and the leader or the mentor of that group, just so we are both in alignment with who you're working with. If for some reason you're not in a mentorship group, just put NA so we know that you're not in a mentorship group. Also, this on the right hand side has your disc assessment. If once you join coaching, you have a disc assessment. If you don't have that, please let me know and I'll forward it back to you. But these are your two dominant or your two leading indicators. So in mine, it was B and then I. So make sure you're putting the proper one in there. And once you put it once, you'll not need to do it again. Also, your cap anniversary and your desired cap month. Our goal is to get you into production to the point of capping. So we need to just know what is your start of your cap month. And that generally is the month, the first day of the month that you join. So if you joined in January 25th, it would actually start you on February 1, which is why there's what we have the cap anniversary there. We also want you to choose a desired cap month. It could be any amount of months that you'd prefer. I would say six to eight months would be would be obviously projected. Also, it's for you to be able to feel the benefit of that 100% cap. Completely new this year is this tracking system. Many of you have said you wanna have recognition and accountability around things other than just closings and volume and maybe listings. So now we have an opportunity to celebrate your wins, to see maybe even some gaps that maybe are gonna be sequentially adding up to create some good opportunities for you to get into production. So if you can see here, they're done by weeks. Some months are done, there's a five month week, right? So you're gonna calculate a thought process. We're gonna do this at every session for the beginning of each month on how many hours you anticipate to lead generate. And in this yellow column, you'll see all the goals are pre-done. So we're gonna make sure that is created and then you're gonna follow those consistently. Where I need you to fill that out is that based on the weeks that you currently are in, so today is the 15th of the month, that means we're two weeks in, I would have already filled this out. So I would have put like 14 hours or maybe 12 hours. So at this point, I'm 52% of goal. So 
Once I hit my goal, this will turn green. So the more green, obviously the better. And we're just gonna see the progression of this. Most of this is kind of like a domino effect. So as you're doing hourly generated number of two-way conversations, member conversations can be text to text, social media, messaging to messaging, face to face, or call to call, right? So make sure you're tracking those. Number of people added to your database, appointments, open houses held, and the number of sessions attended for data bank. And remember the standard in coaching is two data bank sessions per week. So in a typical month, two, four, six, eight should be your standard. And that should be something that you're tracking. And then of course, in your business. So this is the green column. These are new buyer agreements, new listing agreements, current active listings written, which is under contract buyers and sellers close and volume. So you can see that as we go through. The rest of the prep form looks very similar with exception to a couple things. So what actions have you completed? So again, these are things that you need to have completely done before you meet with your coach. And see, it doesn't have to be a huge long list, but it just gives us some indication of some of the activities. What wins have you had? So put those as well. This is new, it's mindset. Rate your current mindset in preparation for our next session. One, two, three, four, and five. And you just simply check the box where you feel that your mindset is. This is gonna allow us to coach you where you're at so we can meet you where you are and help move you forward. Um, what questions do you have? So make sure you realize that those are for you. Put those questions ahead of time so we can start working on those answers. And when you come into our session, we can make it productive for you. Then your coach is going to complete what are you committed to accomplish. These are the things that you'll be using as your guide throughout the gap in time between your next coaching session. Make sure you do not delete this because this is what we use to hold you accountable. You're also going to see the area where it says command database. Make sure you have your username and your password in there. The purpose of this is your coach will actually log into your command database. We will check your database and your opportunities and make sure that we're working on those and we're, you know, the functionality of everything's working well. We're also going to be looking at the growth of your database. So you will be updating the account and we'll be setting goals with you on how that's appropriate. You also may see Denise notes. So she will go in there and if there's some error, whether it's a green sheet or whether there's something that she needed um, kind of response to, she's going to prompt you and me or your coach and you um, what she needs help with and we're going to make sure we respect and answer that question there. All right. So that's kind of the lay of the land on the coaching prep form. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's something that's really important to help you move into your business. You're also going to have your GPS which that is something that we'll work on at the beginning of the year. Um, we just did a workshop. So this is where you actually manually type in your GPS. We're gonna work towards your 411, which is a more chunked down version of your GPS. And we'll work on that together as well. We also have what we call your sphere plan, nothing new, but it breaks everything down by quarters. So this would be what type of Popeyes you're gonna do, what's the reason for calls, and we break them down into each quarter. We work two to three months ahead, so you're not overwhelmed and so you have a plan. We also have what we call a growth plan. This is for your training and your education. So you'll start to see, again, broken down by quarter. What trainings are you attending that quarter, I mean, that month? What book are you planning on reading or audibles that you're reading? Any videos that you wanna learn and kind of grow your business. And the last two tabs is DTD2. This is the database communication system that we'll be using throughout the entire year. And it's a 13 week cycle system where you can use do the database two is what it stands for. And ultimately the goal is every week to be focusing on two letters of the last name and make sure you're using them through text message, private message, face to face, voice to voice and anything you can do to uh, connect with them through your phone, anybody that you think would be a good fit for conversation that would lead to a referral. And the last tab is black. It is our resource standards and focus. So this has been updated. So if you have questions on what the standards are, if you have questions about the tools that we have and the resources we have. So it talks about how to book your one-on-one -on -one appointments. It talks about the, the goal and the efforts for your mentorship groups. Uh, Canva, Mojo, it talks about the 15th protocol, which I just discussed. Also talks about coaching with Drew Login. Also talks about the closed Facebook group with coaching with Drew. And it also talks about the transactions, if it's not an MLS, what the process would be, which is to email Denise. And then you'll see in the black box, the, the communication standards are preferred way to give you the best service possible. 
also recap of the tracking form, which I just went over. And then this goes over the group's coaching sessions. And so the first session is for new agents, which we actually are starting to call foundation. The combined group, which we're starting to call concentration, you'll see that that is required. And make sure if you have an absence, it is excused. Otherwise, your one-on-one -on -one will be canceled. And then also has the standard about the data bank, which is held on the third floor and it's twice a week. And then also in the bottom, you'll see kind of a, basically our shortened version of our GPS, our priorities as your coaches. So me as your main productivity coach, Jennifer as your foundation coach, also Amy as your contract coach, and then it has all of our contact information. So welcome to your 2020 coaching prep form, and I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to me or one of the coaches, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye.